Hello. So yesterday I actually saw the Mario movie. Yeah, finally I did. So um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it for a little bit. So the movie starts with, I mean, after the uh, intros and stuff. So we we get the uh, what we saw in the trailer, the the first trailer, the uh, Bowser invading the Penguin Kingdom. <laughs> I, I just I just love that they're penguins, but um, yeah. So. He does the thing, he gets a power star, and then boom, it cuts to the the the, uh, the intro, the plumbing commercial thing. That's perfect, dude. That was exactly what I was hoping for when um, when they revealed that was a thing. So yeah, and then we get to see um, their lives and their family, which is kind of weird at first, because <laughs> we've never seen them before, you know. So but yeah, it's interesting for sure and okay well let's start let's start with the voices actually so i didn't mind any of them surprisingly well okay there was one that was a little bit mixed about which is um cranky kong i mean i i did not I, I don't know if his voice was that fitting i'll be honest <laughs> but um yeah bowser was great toad was great i loved toad especially and I mean Luigi was good too. Honestly, I didn't mind Mario as much. It was a little bit weird, um, but I got used to it, and I, I think I think it works perfectly fine. Obviously, I mean Charles appears too as a uh, as his dad, and a small reference to Jumpman, which is kind of cool. Um, well, I guess we can jump to uh, references <laughs> right now, so. Wow, <laughs> there were a lot. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, wow, just, just a lot. And you know, obviously, as a big Mario fan, as myself, I recognize everything. Like when I get when Mario gets to um, Toad Town, you see all the little references and stuff. It's really, really cool. Uh, obviously, I can't remember all of them. <laughs> like, there's too many. But yeah, it was uh, it was really really cool seeing all of it. Like you got um, obviously the entire Mario Kart segment was really freaking cool. <laughs> like with the Mario Kart 8 um, card selecting and the uh, anti gravity and the gliders for Mario Kart 7. Obviously, that was really cool to see. Yeah, there's obviously a lot a lot of references, which uh, yeah, I I really enjoyed. So. The characters. Let's talk about the characters now. Um, I like them. Like I said, I think the voices work for them. Um, I I, <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Like the 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 humor in general is pretty good. Like I I laughed a lot. It's uh, <laughs> mo mo almost pretty much all jokes landed for me. So that's that's good. It was a little bit like jarring that Peach is suddenly like this. All oh, I'm, I can't do everything. I'm so cool, and, and it's like a little bit weird compared to what we're used to from the games. But uh, I, I got used to it pretty quickly. So <laughs> it was uh, definitely weird at first. So and yeah, Mario, I liked him in the movie. Very different from his personality in the games, but that wasn't a bad thing. Just, just like Peach, um, Toad, or rather Captain Toad, was um, funny. Like I said, um, I, I liked him. Yeah, and Luigi was in the movie too. He wasn't as much as much in the movie as I as I'd hoped, but uh, I still enjoyed him. Like their their bond. Uh, Mario and Luigi was really good. Like in the in the in the in the in the start of the movie before they get to the Mushroom Kingdom, especially. Dude, that's that that dog, dude. That was so stupid. <laughs> um, Donkey Kong was in the movie too. I liked him too. He was uh, pretty awesome. Again, all personalities except for Luigi, I guess. They're all very different from the games, which. Again, I don't mind, <laughs> but it's 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 different. <laughs> it's different. So anyway, 
the music. I mean, what what can I even say? Dude? It's just amazing <laughs> hearing our uh, hearing like Rainbow Road and the Mario Kart 8 main menu theme and Bob on Battlefield for a bit. Like all those stuff was just really really fun to hear. Um, they even played Bowser's Fury's music uh, at one point, which is. Yeah, that was uh, unexpected. And then in the credits here in Gusty Garden, just amazing. There are a few like licensed songs, which I didn't mind personally at all. They were a bit like unexpected and a little bit out of place in the movie, but uh, they picked pretty good songs, so I didn't mind it. But yeah, music, really good, really happy. So yeah, the plots, well, Again, as I was saying, then they get to the mushroom. They like fall into the brick wall, and they get the mushroom. They get to the mushroom kingdom, and yeah, a bunch of shenanigans happen though. But yeah, um, Luigi gets teleported to the dark lands, which uh, gave me a lot of Luigi's, Man Luigi's mansion uh, flashbacks, which is uh, good. Uh, I like. I really like the uh, <laughs> the spooky part, if you will. With all the dry bones, that was yeah. There were a lot of dry bones, and Mario gets to Mushroom Kingdom, meets Peach, um, and Toad, and they go on adventure. It they like skip immediately to the like it goes really quickly. Like let's go on adventure, and then like all right, here's a few scenes of what happens, and then boom, they're there. Which I mean, that's I mean I, I guess that's fair, but yeah. I just I wish the movie was a little bit longer like it goes by pretty quickly which I again I didn't mind too much but it goes by really quickly so uh, anyway they um, they go to the Kong part because they need their help then yeah they, they Mario not, not can fight it out <laughs> and then Mario, yeah, it gets the cat suit. I mean, I wish the cat suit was this good in the games, <laughs> but yeah, uh, as well as Tanuki, honestly, <laughs> the raccoon. Um, so then they get to the cards thing, which that was really cool. Again, all the references to Mario Kart. Entire segment. I'm not gonna talk. About, I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about everything, of course. But you got the entire segment, and that was really, really fun. And the blue shell. <laughs> that was the, the better version of the blue shell with the wings. Love to love to see that. Well, okay. Let's talk about Bowser now. He was really good. Again, loved his personality. It really reminded me of the comic. Same with Peach. Like Peach was very like again different. Reminded me of the comics. Bowser remind, reminded me of the comics too, where he's like his personality and that he wants to marry Peach, which I mean that was done before in the comics and in Super Paper Mario, but and Odyssey, of course, which is what uh, his suit was based on. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I liked I liked that. Um, <laughs> his freaking song that I laughed so hard in the theater. <laughs> it's so stupid. It was, uh, yeah, animated really well. And hey, speaking of animation, again, really freaking good. Just very vibrant and colorful. A lot of life into in the in the everything. Really, really fun. So yeah, and then the wedding um, almost happens, and then I mean, let's talk about this. <laughs> like suddenly, like King Bob Om and King Boo appear. Like what? It's so random. <laughs> I, I liked it though, but like Boo's weren't even in the movie, so like why is King Boo here? It, it also looked looked really weird. I, I don't know. It's 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 funny though. And King Bob Om. Cool to see him, even though he freaking dies. But yeah. And well, then the. Uh, I guess they called the bomber bill, which I've never heard of that before, but it was a Banzai bill. And um, yeah, Mario takes it to the pipe, boom, giant explosion. Then the, the, the final battle in Mario's world, 
way. And then they get the star, and it's just... Oh, I love the Starman theme, dude. So, yeah. Overall... Okay, well, the plot. Well, I'm describing all this, but, like, there wasn't a lot, so I can, I, I can understand why some people are a little bit upset about that. I didn't mind it personally, again, because it was just... The movie was pretty much made for me. <laughs> it, it was fun. It was a fun movie, overall. And I waited for the post credit scene, and, well, it... I, I don't know if it was worth it, but I'm looking forward to the sequel because, you know, I like you know Yoshi is my favorite Mario character, so <laughs> yeah, really, uh, really looking forward to that. So I do, like I, I I've, I've said some, but I do I did have some complaints, like the the length and Cranky's voice was a little bit weird. There, mu there might have been some other like small things that could have been. I mean, the movie stuff definitely not perfect, far from it, but. Um, for me personally, I really enjoyed it. So hey, and that's what matters at the end of the day. I mean, other people can disagree with me. That's fine. We all have our own opinion. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, looking forward to the uh, the <laughs> what's to come, I guess. So uh, yeah, well oh, that's that's all I'll really have to say about that. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you if you if you if you made it to the end. Thank you for listening. I I suppose, but. Yeah. All right. See ya.